Hey, hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 22nd on CMS Blogging Systrum. In this particular video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about three new files that we created in order to edit or delete our comments. So if you remember properly, last time we created a class from where the user can actually leave comments and we're going to see all those comments as pending to our actual backend admin panel. <coughs> So if you will click on this view or delete button, nothing will happen on your end, but I have already created the functionality. So let me show you a demo before we go ahead and do something else. So here it shows, you know, uh, the moment I'm going to click on edit comment, it's going to redirect me to a new file called edit comment.php that we're going to create in a second right now. And here it shows the actual content, the username, the email and the website if they have entered something. And here it says the common status, you know, we can choose uh, between approved, pending or trash. So if I'm going to say pending and guys come back to view comments and here it shows the common status is pending. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the file called edit common. Guys, very first I have included the header file in order to make sure that we have this header and the navigation bar on the top. The next is a new file that I've created inside scripts folder with a name called individual comment. Don't worry about it. We're going to discuss about it uh, in a moment. And also the file called edit comment.php. And both of these files are under this scripts folder. Okay. Next, we have, you know, uh, put some script tags and we have, you know, initialized this particular uh, plugin, I would say, in order to get this particular text editor. Okay, uh, next thing is, you know, some semantic uh, HTML markup and there is a form tag. So every time I'm going to click on this particular edit button, it's going to listen to the action inside this particular form tag. Okay, then I have, you know, a uh, heading called manage comments. So there are some labels and a text area and these little input fields. So I have created all that entire markup on this page. There is, you know, a div called left section for this particular div and a div called right section for this particular right section box. And guys, that's all in this particular file. And, you know, finally I have created a submit or probably an edit button. And here, um, you know, I'm echoing the status of these comments. Now, the very important file that we want to discuss first would be the individual comment.php. So what I'm going to do is uh, inside my scripts folder, I'm going to open this file called individual comment. And here very first I'm saying if it's a dollar get ID, that means that we do have an ID parameter appended with our URL. Okay, then only do uh, something with it. Otherwise, don't do it. Now very first I'm including the connection file to make sure that I'm able to make the connection with the database. And then I'm creating a variable called ID that would be the equals to the URL parameter we have out here. Okay. So for this particular case, this particular variable ID will be equals to two. Okay. Then I'm running a very basic SQL query, which is going to select everything from the table called comments that we created out here last time. Okay. It's going to select everything from there where ID that means this particular field is equal to this particular parameter in the URL. Okay. <clears throat> then we are, you know, fetching everything from there and very last we are extracting the row. Okay guys. And here you will see three different variables I created. So let's start discussing about them. At uh, the given status would be uh, the status we have for our comments. So like we have approved, we have pending and we have trash. Okay. So these are the three given status by default. <clears throat> the second variable is an array, which is actually containing the current status of this particular comment. So it's pending. And if you will go to the database, you will notice the common status is equal to pending. Okay. So we have made these two arrays out here. And finally, we are checking out the difference between these two arrays. So let me give you an example here. Uh, we have three status like approve, pending and trash. OK, and the current one is pending. So the very last variable called common difference will contain approve and trash 
inside it okay and the pending will be taken off from there because we are calculating the array difference between these two so that would these three variables are doing out here and if I'll come back to edit comment.php let me tell you why I'm doing that guys very first I'm echoing the current status in this select box okay then I'm you know using this particular variable called common difference to output the next two uh, status of the comment okay Th that would be a prove and trash for this particular example then finally if I'm gonna hit to edit button it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna make changes to the database so let me do here approve and I'm gonna say hit and guys all this functionality is taken care of by the file called scripts slash edit comment dot php so go to your scripts folder and create a new file called edit comment dot php that I'm gonna open right now so very first this file is including a connection file I'm just gonna take it away from here and I'm gonna put it here uh, next thing is I'm making sure only run this entire code if the person is hitting the button called edit comments what is the name for this particular button if I'll go back to this file and guys here you will notice the name is edit comment and here it says edit comment okay then I'm getting the ID variable from the URL once again that's ID is equal to 2 and then I'm you know getting uh, the values from these uh, text area or input fields okay now I'm getting everything then I'm making sure that the comments and username is not empty because it does not make any sense if you're gonna make uh, the comment empty or the person who commented uh, their name equals to empty so it's better if you want if we don't want that comment we can delete it instead of you know keeping these values to null so we don't want these values to be null next if they are not null everything is fine according to us we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run an update query so I'm gonna say update the table name called comments set the field comments equals to this particular variable name equals to the variable called username and so on then this particular variable called affected is gonna go ahead and store how many rows have been affected by this particular query that we you know uh, ran on the top so if the affected rows is equals to one that means we are able to make some changes and we are able to update our comments successfully if nothing have been changed then we're gonna get you know zero rows so we just wanna let the user know nothing got updated okay guys so that's all about edit comments so let me go ahead and do one thing uh, here I'm gonna say localhost slash CMS slash post equals to two okay so this is a new post I created I'm gonna you know leave some comments I'm gonna say my name again my email ID I'm gonna say this is a test okay come back submit the comment here it says your comment is awaiting moderation and will be visible after admin approval so I'm gonna go back uh, come back here and let's see what we have so here I'm gonna say view comments and this is the new one so I'm gonna say view no this is not the new one I'm sorry this is the new one actually and here I'm gonna say approve hit edit come back refresh you will notice my name is there because uh, inside our single .php file I'm only acquiring the name don't worry later we're gonna build an entire theme from scratch then we're gonna you know show the comments and you know the time everything out there so don't worry about it next thing is uh, we need to take care about this particular delete button so every time I'm gonna hit this delete button it's gonna delete that particular comment so let me give you an example here here I'm gonna say hit delete you will notice that's gone and guys the code for this file is nothing here okay uh, very first I'm making sure that if I'm getting ID out here on the top and if there was an ID very first I'm inclu uh, including the connection file then I'm making a variable called delete comment ID equals to the uh, ID and the URL and finally I'm you know running a delete query to delete everything from the comments where ID is equals to this particular variable and if you're able to delete it successfully we're gonna head the person back to this particular file so guys I'm not gonna delete the last comment you can create more from your side you can delete them do as much testing as you can and if you find any bug do let me know and everything is available as source file so if you don't honor it send any anything then go ahead and download these files <clears throat> and try to find out your bugs i'm going to see you guys next time goodbye